Hi, this is 3D Future, and this is just a quick start tutorial on how to develop your very first Unreal app. So the game engine we'll be using is Unity to develop this app. So to get started, we first need to download Unity. And to get Unity, we're going to download Unity Hub. So if you go ahead and go onto the Unity website, you should be able to see the download page and just simply click on download Unity Hub, which should download the latest version of Unity Hub. So I already have mine downloaded and installed, uh, but you just, just click on this and install it and you should be able to see get a window that looks like this. Next thing we need to do is we need to install the Unity Editor. So the Unreal supports the Unity game engine of 2018.2 or higher. Uh, so you can install any version that is 2018.2 or higher. Or I would recommend you, you to install the LTS version of Unity, which is which the one I installed, which is um, 2019.4. Um, I recommend that because um, LTS means long-term support. So um, there'll be a lot of support for it, and also there won't be as much frequent update that could break your um, your app in the future. So I already have mine downloaded, but if you go ahead and click next onto your selected version, um, make sure when you're adding modules, make sure you click on the Android build support because the Unreal app uses um, Android to run their apps. So we do need the Android build support. So once that's done, um, Union Hub will automatically install the editor for you. And it might take a few minutes or so, but I already have mine installed. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started on our project. So to get started on that, we need to install the Unreal SDK. So if you go onto the Unreal developer site, uh, you should it be able to see the download SDK button right here and just simply click on it and we're just going to go down and we are going to install the Unity SDK, well the latest version of the NR SDK and make sure you agree to terms and click download. Um, I already have mine downloaded so I have it right here which is the Unity package um, and once we have the package done, now we can really get started on the um, Unity editor. So on the Unity Hub, we just simply click New Project, and we should get this prompt. And we're just going to go ahead and call it the uh, Unreal Test because we only wanted to. Oh, I already have one. Well, test one. That's good enough for it. And for the location, you can just add in whatever. Um, you know, wh wherever, which, whichever directory that you want to save into your, your U Unreal Unity app. And make sure 3D is selected as the test. So once, the, once your Unity editor opens up, we're going to import the package we've downloaded from the Unreal site. So to do that, we just simply go on the assets and right click and go to import package and custom package. Or you can simply just, you know, uh, find your file explorer and just drag your Unity package into the assets. And that should automatically import everything you need here. So this is the NR SDK for Unity. And just import all of them in. So now that the NR SDK is imported into our Unity project, we're going to go ahead and go into the NR SDK. And for the purposes of this tutorial, we're just going to be um, running one of their demos and running it into our NR glasses just to show how we can just build our project, make our project, develop our project, build our projects, and just install it into our phone so which, you can, which we can run it in the NR glasses. So we just go to demos right here, and we're going to click on the Hello MR scene. Um, so this is basically the Unreal's version of Hello World. 
And so we have the Unreal icon, and you can see here is a few things um, like the NR input, which is the um, the Unreal controller you'll be using on the phone. Um, and then we have the camera rig, which would be the perspective of the player. And so we're gonna go ahead and run this project. So in your game scene here, this is actually the emulator of Unreal. So this is what you'll be seeing when you run um, the app on your Unreal glasses. So you can kind of move around using WASD. When you hold spacebar, you can simply just look around a little more. Or if you hold shift, you can use the controller, the input. So this is where you see how the line kind of goes around. This is where, um, this is basically simulating your phone um, cursor, just going around. Um, you know, when you click on the screen, um, this registers as a tap on your phone. So this is pretty useful if you want to do some quick tests in the game without having to build and you know install it into your phone. We're just going to show you how to install it into your phone. Um, the next thing you need to do is to go to build settings, go file, build settings, and we're going to switch to the Android platform. So right now it's on PC, Mac, Linux, standalone. Uh, we want to use the Android platform for this. So simply go to Android here and press switch platform. The next thing we need to do is to change the project settings to the specification we want. So it's, it's already here on the website. Um, when you go to the site and you press develop tab, and it's found here on the documentation, quick start for Android. And when you go down all the way to configure build settings, so these are the settings we need to configure for our project in order for the app to run properly into our glasses. Um, so you simply go on project settings here. So in this documentation, um, it wants us to go to the player settings. We want to first go to resolutions and presentation, make sure that the default orientation is on portrait. Then we're going to go to the other settings right here under player. Make sure the auto graphics API is unchecked, which is false over here. Um, and make sure the open GLE S3 is also selected. Um, And then when you go ahead further down, we want to make sure the package name is our project name, or you can change it to however name you want, but um, we're just going to keep it as the Unreal Test 1. And also, whoops, and also we need to um, target the API level to Android 8.8 .8 or the API level 26 level or, or above, because I'm assuming um, the Unreal glasses only can run on this version of Android or above. Set the right permission permission to external. Select to the SD card. Quality settings. You should build you should be able to find the VSync count, which we want to disable the VSync right here. So that's pretty much all done. Once you have the build settings all set up, uh, now the app is ready to be built and run onto your glasses. We simply go to files, build settings, just to make sure that you are on the Android platform and just click on build. And you can save your, uh, you can save your build files anywhere. I'm just gonna leave it default, press save, and it should start building. It'll take a little bit, but once it's ready, um, all you really need is um, to plug your phone to your PC. So once it's in, you'll see APK is uh, finally ready to be transferred into your phone. And we'll just do that on, we'll do that on the next video. So now that you have your project built, 
and installed into your Android. The only thing left to do is to plug your app to the Enreal glasses. So we have here our Enreal glasses and on the back should have a cable that should come out from the back of the glasses and then we just simply plug the USB-C cable into your phone into the back of your phone so like so and as soon as you plug it into your phone so once you have the app plugged into your glasses the app should start up automatically and on your display there should be a menu very shortly as uh, as the app starts itself up and then right in front of you should be the menu of everything um, you can open so you just basically point and you should see a prompt and you simply click on it by tapping onto your phone and then once your demo project loads up then you should be able to see in front of you your demo project and you can simply just point around, look around all you want uh, and just marvel over the great NR glasses that they have offered